So you might be in this really random situation or for some reason a specific Android app or many Android apps are going through and basically overheating your particular phone. Now this can happen for a few different reasons and I'll go and break it down exactly how to go and fix these problems. Now if there's a specific app like one app that's overheating your Android phone over and over and over again, the best thing you can do is to see if there's an update available for that Android application. So what you can try doing here is making your way over into your Android, you know, Google Play Store, just like this. And then what you want to do is you want to search for that application. So go and find that application. You can do that just by clicking into this particular thing right here. And then you can go and find that app. So I can find that app like this. And if there is an update available for it, what I would recommend doing is just updating that application. For a vast majority of people, if you literally just do that, that is a very, very easy way of going through and basically adjusting and fixing this problem. That's kind of the first thing I'd recommend doing. And for a vast majority of people, that's an easy way to fix it. Now, for some reason that's not working, another way to go and fix this problem is to try updating your Android phone. So you can do this by making your way over into your settings application of your Android device. Then what you want to do here is when you're in the settings panel, you want to scroll down until you see an option that says software update, or you may have to click on devices or you know, general settings or whatever inside of your Android phone. Click on download and install, and basically download and install the latest update available for your Android phone. For a vast majority of people, again, that's probably all you're going to have to do. And that, again, is what I'd recommend doing there, too. If that's still not working, you may want to try seeing if there's another way to go and fix this problem. You can try reinstalling the application. You may also want to make sure that app is you know, configured for your phone as well. But those are kind of the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video.